crew and welcome to today's video. Today I'm at the deck in Geelong once again where I am about to take on a revamped version of their massive Parmy Challenge. This edition is going to be called the Randy Santel Challenge and my boy hasn't even tried this yet. I'm actually the guinea pig for this thing but I'm going to have only 45 minutes to finish a one and a half kilo Parmy which is a little bit unique here in the fact that there is ham on this as well as the, uh, the usual marinara or what do you guys call it here? Tomato sauce? Tomato sauce? All right. Okay, I'm getting some mixed answers. We've got cheese, deliciousness. Anyway, it's huge. It's equal to five of their usual parmies here. Along the way, I also have to finish a big old whack of their chips, which look actually really delightful and super crispy as well. And then I have a big old healthy salad that I have made absolutely unhealthy by smothering it in aioli. But anyways, 45 minutes if I am successful. I do get the meal for free. I get a groovy t-shirt and I am the very first person to get my name and photo up on the wall of fame to defeat the Randy Santel Parmy Challenge. So uh, without further delay, let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. Thank you all. This is my very first Parmy challenge, y'all. I've done Parmos in England, which are totally different. But uh, voiceover me will tell you all about the differences. Uh, but for now, one, two, three. Let's shut up and eat us a Parmo. Parmy. Oh. Terrible intro. Uh-oh, that was the party foul of all party fouls. There is a massive debate on whether or not it is a parma or a parmi, but it is certainly not a parmo, which involves bechamel sauce and, of course, all of the cheese. It's $125. Oh! Wow. <laughs> so please, please win. Oh, God. I better win. Hey, what can I expect when I'm eating enough for obviously five people since it is five of their uh, parmies on one plate? <laughs> but I don't want to go fast. It's delicious. Y'all know how I feel about cheese, and there was plenty of sharp cheddar and mozzarella to coat this thing in pure joy. This is wildly good. Yum. That and it was like the absolute perfect temperature, which is something that I've had bad luck with recently, so I was enjoying digging into basically a Goldilocks meal. Ooh. That's a lot of cheese. This feels healthy. Yeah, this was one of those that sat rather heavy in the stomach, and on top of that, it was an unseasonably warm day. It's a hot day in Geelong. Ooh, I'd be sweating. It's real cute. There was actually a woman sitting near me that was kind enough to fan me with her menu, which I was much appreciative of. <laughs> delicious. I'm making like keto sandwiches out of this. It doesn't get much more keto than slices of ham and oodles of cheese wrapped around a deep fried chicken breast, but uh, let me tell you, I was already craving the salad and I think I'm about to bust into it now. I'm gonna eat some salad with my hands. Yeah, I had plenty of time on the clock, so I really have no excuses for this one other than uh, I just prefer eating salad with my hands, and I guess I was still pretty hungry. <laughs> I'm feeling absolutely feral. Yeah, and you absolutely look feral too, but uh, no, that's actually one of my favorite learned Aussie phrases is calling somebody feral, and uh, especially if you combine that with calling somebody a feral bogan, which isn't the uh, nicest thing ever to say, but it is rather funny, and uh, I was just trying not to become a full, full bogan. All right, good people of Geelong, we're about seven minutes and 15 seconds in. I'm feeling really confident. This is delicious. Yeah, you can see there that the cheese had uh, solidified significantly since I had begun, so I knew that I needed to pick up the pace just a little bit. This is delicious, but I'm actually really grateful for this salad. Ugh. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but I was indeed getting tired of eating so much cheese, and I was actually really thankful to be having some greens in there. All right, that's basically it for the salad. Let's just crush this parmy. I knew that I really needed to get this parmy down quickly, especially because I noticed how mammoth the mountain of fries was in front of me. I had a lot to get through. Final section of parmy, and then we just have some carbs. It'll be a good time. Here we go. The people of Geelong were rather supportive. The deck was absolutely packed with people that were uh, fascinated to watch me attempt this thing. How's the Randy Santel challenge going? Mm. 
You're doing great. Some words of encouragement from Randy there, whom the challenge is named after. She's 13 and a half minutes in. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too bright when I started to really actually let it sink in just how many fries I had left on the platter along with that little bit of parmy that I still had left as well. I was intimidated. Final bite of the parmy. That parmy was delicious. Now it's time for fries. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes, the classic fries slowing me down at the end. It seems that these days fries are the main portion of the challenge, even though over two kilos of food was already gone. <laughs> Indeed, I had a long way to go, it seemed like, but uh, chip in a chair, as they say, and I had a few chips or fries, whatever you'd want to call them left, and I uh, just had to push on through. Uh, oh yeah, a standard person's portion of chips to go, we got this. That was the positive mindset that I needed to hold on to. Having all of those people there cheering me on, wanting to see me become the first person to beat this thing was definitely helping, especially since the smaller prior version of this challenge was only a one kilo parmy. So uh, yeah, this was definitely a bit more on the challenging side. I drank way too much beer last night. <laughs> Now that is the truth right there. <laughs> the night before was my first ever AFL experience. But yeah, on that uh, uh, revealing note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Challenge to not the Randy Santel challenge, not that I don't love my boothing. But uh, thankfully for winning, I get the apparently $125 Parmy for free. I get a groovy t shirt and I get my name and photo on the deck's wall of fame. So a big thank you to everyone at the deck and a big thank you to everyone here cheering me on. This has been an amazing crowd. Thank you guys. Parmy challenge that was delicious so uh oh i'm hopefully gonna be doing another one soon but anyways that was plenty of talking until the next video okay peace out Hoo -hoo. Yeah.